What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Today I am going to take you through what I call the golf course. I'm going to show you where all the bosses spawn and what weapons and loot they drop. Now it's not called the golf course, it is called the Ruins of Ex Xolte, I think, or Ex Xolt. I, I don't know exactly how to say it. Maybe somebody can pronounce it phonetically in the comments below. But this is where we're going, I'm going to show you where all the bosses are. I am also going to give you a couple of honorable mentions that are just outside these city walls, and the first one is going to be right down here. I actually have a full guide video on how to find this guy already on my channel, because he drops the Namidian helmet, and legendary repair kits are hard to come by in the Isle of Siptos. So this is the first boss that we're going to cover. He has 14,560 hit points. He drops the Namidian helmet and the Akbatan and throwing knives. Now the Akbatan and throwing knives have a health damage of 57 and an armor pen of zero. And the reason why you want the Namidian helmet is because it will repair your weapons or actually any tool that you're holding in your hand. And I have a whole video for that. I'll link that in the top right hand corner of this video. One thing about this guy is he is not always here. I have seen him spawn down there. So if you run up here and you don't find him, look over the edge and see if he's down there. And this is the location on the map. It's just outside the walls and it is right on this peninsula. The next location that we're gonna go to is Spinner's Ridge right there. And here we are coming up to Spinner's Ridge. It is a bridge that spans this chasm. And you have a demon spider up here. He doesn't drop any legendary loot, but you can harvest him for a skeleton key. If you're new here, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. Leaving the bridge, we're just going to run inside the golf course here, and you can actually climb right there to this boss, but if you don't want to climb that much, if you come right around this corner, you can just climb this section here and climb up here. That's going to get you to the next boss. Now, this is the Snarling Monstrosity. He has a health of 4912. Let me show you where we're at on the map. This is where we're at in the golf course right now. That's the spot. Now, he does go over and start fighting these skeletons immediately when you get in the area. So it does give you the opportunity to start attacking him while he is engaged with that. You can add some bleed and some poison to him, whatever you have handy. However, if we kill him, he doesn't give us anything in this drop. But this is what he drops. He drops these daggers and these daggers. So they are the diseased knives and the hunger blades. The diseased knives have a 47 health damage and 18% armor pen. They stack bleed and they also stack disease. If you're not sure what disease is, I have a full guide to this boss on my channel so you can see how to beat him. I will link that in the top right hand corner of this video. I also go over what disease does in that video. The hunger blades are just regular daggers. They have a health damage of 43, armor pen of 19, and they stack bleed. In addition to these new weapons, he also can drop the Doom Hammer, the Bestial Claws, and the Maw of the Hyena. The next guy on our list is actually named the Slaughterer, and this guy is pretty insane. He's got 17,000 hit points. We are currently right here in the golf course. Let me show you why he's pretty insane. I'm going to just uncloak and let you show, let him show you his weapon. He has a spear. It's the Acheronian spear. We'll go ahead and kill him, see what he drops this time. Nothing exciting. However, he drops this axe and these daggers. So let's have a look at him. The axe is the razor sharp axe. It has health damage of 57, armor pen of zero. And then the war sickles are daggers, and they have health damage of 43, armor pen of 
The next guy on our list is this guy right here. He is called the Famished, and he's actually just over the ledge from the Slaughterer. The Slaughterer's right up there. This guy is just down below, and we'll give him a quick kill. And you can see he drops something extra special there. He actually drops the loot from the Witch Doctor. In addition to these daggers and this axe. So let's take a look at the daggers. The daggers are 47 damage, 18% armor pen with bleed. Those are knaves knives. Go ahead and say that three times fast. And then the axe is the severer. It has health damage of 52 and an armor pen of zero. We are currently right here in the golf course. And I think I forgot to show you this guy's health, so let me show you that. 3,740. He is damaged by bleed and poison and just about everything else, so he's not a bad boss to come in and farm on a regular basis. The next guy on our list is this little critter right here. I say little, but he's a boss. He's got 14,560 hit points. We are currently all the way back here in the golf course, the drainage section of the golf course. We'll go ahead and kill him, see if he drops anything special for us. Legendary repair kit, that's like finding a legendary weapon at this point in time. But the two legendary weapons that he can drop is this axe, looks like the Kahari axe. And then he also drops this short sword. So let's take a peek at the stats on those. The axe has 57 damage, zero armor pen, and then the short sword is a 43 health damage and 9% armor pen. This particular boss can also drop the Kahari water skin. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and show your support by whacking that like button. And the last boss on our list is actually yet another spider. I'll show you where we're at in the golf course. We are right here. And this guy probably has one of the biggest loot pools, so let's go ahead and kill him, see what he drops. You can see he dropped a legendary there. Let's see how many health points he has, 14,560. Let's kill him one more time, see what he dropped. Well, he dropped both of the things that I'm going to show you in my inventory. So the first thing is the Reliable Butcher, and that is a cleaver with a ton of durability. 3,000 durability on that cleaver. The other thing that he drops is this Katana, 54 health damage and 14% armor pen. There you go, there's the Katana right there. In addition to those two drops, he can also drop the Nemedian Helmet, the Akbatanin Blades, the Mandibles of Achalatin, and I think that's it. I think that's his entire loot table for legendary items. And that's all I have for this video, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. You can pick one of the videos coming up on the screen to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.